So I'd like to hand the stage over to Don Mogen, CEO of uh, CLS or Clinical Laser Thermia Systems. Welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jonas. Uh, thank you for a great event. Um, I'm pleased to be here um, to present uh, Clinical Laser Thermia Systems to you guys, or CLS as we call it for short. Um, the company's been around uh, for quite some time. Uh, we started back in 2006, got a uh, first IPO in 2009. Um, we have evolved over time. Uh, we are servicing uh, the, uh, I would say, surgery markets within urology, neurosurgery, uh, but also in oncology. Uh, we're meeting some of the unmet needs in those market segments. Um, there is traditional medical uh, inventions that are uh, expensive. They involve suboptimal outcomes. Um, they have side effects. There are risks, and so, et cetera, et cetera. And these uh, interventions uh, are the ones that we're going after with our technology. We have laser-based treatment systems uh, and protocols for both local and systemic treatments. Um, in, in a disease generating tissue or in treatment of disease generating tissue. Th this could be either uh, treatments of tumors, it could be treatments of other uh, disease generating structures like uh, foci in the brain that generates epileptic uh, seizures. Uh, we have systems that you can use for minimum invasive procedures, um, and they are carried out using image guidance, such as MRI imaging or MRI-fused ultrasound imaging, uh, and this is, uh, can be done without open surgery. Uh, we do so with, in partnerships with different uh, partners. We have uh, academia that is working with us. We have larger uh, collaborations with bigger companies such as Siemens, GE Healthcare, uh, and Siemens Healthcare as well. We have one partner also in US specifically that we work with for the US market um, in neurosurgery, and that is Clearpoint Neuro. We see uh, a worldwide market potential for our technologies. As I mentioned, we work in the urology, neurosurgery, we work in the oncology field. If we stay a little bit on the urology side here, uh, we focus on a localized prostate cancer indication for our systems and for the treatments. There are about 1.5 to 1.7 million uh, patients uh, that are diagnosed with localized, or I should say, prostate cancer each year. Uh, these patients are mainly uh, diagnosed and treated within hospitals and clinics uh, with comprehensive prostate programs. These are our targets for these systems. We have also um, in the neurosurgical segment, we work with glioblastoma and drug-resistant epilepsy as our targeted indications for our systems. There's about almost 300,000 patients each year that are diagnosed with brain tumors uh, annually. And there is, in the epilepsy segment, we have an annual figure, which is about 135,000. Now, there is a much larger figure for the, um, for the prevalence within in drug-resistant epilepsy that we're also going after. There's a, a small percentage within the neurosurgery surgery market that are treated using a minimal invasive approach. So we see this market as an early stage where our systems, our products fits right into it at a, and we can grow this market together. In the oncology segment, we have a high mortality among the cancer patients. So we have a proprietary treatment protocol within CLS that we developed uh, for immune stimulatory ablation. And um, that we're going after the late stage cancer patients by stimulating the immune response for a systemic effect in those patients. Looking at the portfolio that I just mentioned, um, we have two different systems in our portfolio. One which is more advanced, which is the Tronberg branded thermotherapy system uh, with the thermal guide workstation. You can see it on the right hand side of the picture. There are two screens here. And this system is designed and developed and sold for MR in bore based procedures. And we're using the MR technology and the MR sequences to, with a very high precision accuracy, measure temperatures as we are treating the patients. We are using a laser-based technology, hence the name of the company, uh, to, in a minimal invasive fashion, 
uh, a blate tissue, and that means we are thermally uh, uh, killing the cells inside the body to remove that portion of the body that is generating the disease. And we can do so with this system using a very high accuracy and precision through the MR sequences that produces thermal images. We also have a second system, which is a slightly smaller system. Again, we're utilizing the MR image, but this time we fuse that image onto an ultrasound system that is less expensive, and that can be used in a doctor's office setting for performing slightly less pre precise procedures, and that system is typically uh, positioned within treatment of prostate cancer. <clears throat> The systems are made up of both capital equipment and sterile consumables and the treatment protocol that I mentioned. Our pricing today towards uh, our end customers are between two and a half thousand and five thousand euros depending on the kit composition and the indication that is being used within. This is just to give you an idea of what this system looks like also outside of the prostate space. We work together with Clairpoint, as I mentioned, which is our commercial partner uh, worldwide. And we have just recently received the 510K clearance for this product that you can see here in the US. And we're currently in a limited market release for this system. This is a system that combines our technology with their technology, which is a stereotactic technology. And you can see that here, that you can see this part here, which is a sterile disposable uh, stereotactic component that is being uh, bolted onto the skull of the patient and which provides sub-millimeter accuracy in placing our instruments in the brain for ablating, for instance, uh, epileptic foci or tumors in the brain. Just to give you a bit of an animation so you can see the whole procedure a little bit here. This is a procedure, it's a little bit generic, but this one is more particular. So a procedure done on a pa pa patient with prostate cancer. Uh, we have a two millimeter instrument that we place inside the tumor. <clears throat> we have an introducer that we first go in with and we retract the introducer, placing a laser applicator in there. The patient is monitored in this case in an MR and the whole procedure is, is performed and monitored and controlled within the MR scanner. As you can see here to the left, this is our product to the left with the different screens that can monitor this, the whole procedure. We have a first test run to see we are in the right position in the, in the patient, and we can see that through an anatomic picture from the MR and the temperature imaging on our screen. Then the procedure is performed uh, using our system in the patient. Once the procedure is performed, we are extracting our instruments out of the patient, and the whole procedure is done as an outpatient procedure. And again, coming back to my, my initial comment, our products is there to move open surgical procedures into an image-guided minimal invasive procedure. And the target is to reduce side effects of traditional surgical procedures and to prove, improve the cost efficiency of these procedures. Look at the company business model, some of our goals and strategies, and we're also going to look at some of our milestones as we move forward. Um, the overall strategy here is to establish our portfolio of these Tromberg-branded treatment systems and also the, uh, the PRISM treatment system, which is the ones we, we're selling into the neurosurgical space, um, as a laser-based image-guided treatment uh, with minimal invasive tissue ablation. It's for a safer uh, uh, alternative to traditional surgery. We do so in US, Europe, and within the Asian Pacific region where CLS today do have our own uh, marketing or market companies uh, with representation in these different markets. Uh, our near term goal is to do this, as I mentioned before, within the uh, oncology, urology, and neurosurgical market. And we do so through key opinion leaders which work together with us not only on producing clinical evidence, but also on their reimbursement roadmap. And our business model here is to generate recurring revenues from uh, sales of disposables or through uh, revenues from each treatment performed. The team today in the company, uh, we have a, company, a team of six people in our management team. Uh, in addition to myself, uh, we have a representation for our clinical affairs. Uh, we have regulatory and, and quality assurance. Uh, we have just recruited a new CFO in the company since a couple of months back, Rolf. And we have also marketing and, and a technical officer in the company. 
This, these are all situated together with me here in Lund, where they had offices of the company. Then we have three different market companies, as I mentioned, one in Germany, one in, in US, in Irvine, and then we have one company in Asia Pacific in Singapore. Just look briefly on the goals for, for the coming year. Um, within the neurosurgery, we are, as I mentioned before, we have a clearance. We got that in September this year. We have a clearance for the more advanced system. Uh, for the PRISM Neuro Laser Therapy System. Our goal is to establish that system within four to six prominent centers in the US. The uh, limited market relaunch has already started. We just received uh, earlier this year our first order, five and a half million, for those systems to be rolled out. We do this together with Claiborne Neuro. And obviously, uh, we're also working with generating clinical evidence to get the products CE marked so we can get it also rolled out in Europe. Within the urology market segment, uh, we're also establish, establishing uh, both our systems at a number of prominent prostate centers in the US, Europe, and Asian Pacific. Uh, enter agreements with commercial partners in the urology space, similar to what we do in the neurosurgical space, is a goal for next year. Uh, we'll also continue to generate clinical evidence next year uh, for the commercialization of the prostate focal therapy and also to get a few US FDA clearance for that system in the MR space for, uh, for the US market. And as I mentioned before, we have one office sitting in Singapore uh, that, that is servicing our Asian Pacific region and we're in the process of generating our clearances in that region now. That is a big picture of, of, of CLS and what we're dealing with. And um, to do this, obviously, we have these meetings, we'd like to uh, present our company and our goals and what we do uh, to attract you as, as an investor or an interest in, in CLS. So thank you very much for, for listening to me. So Don, I would like to actually start with the patient perspective. So what does your systems, your products mean in terms of improving the, the patient's experience? The, I think the biggest thing that we're going after here is, from the patient perspective, maintaining the efficacy of surgery within the um, urology segment and within the neurosurgical segment, uh, but reducing the side effects of open surgical procedures, which are profound in these patients. Um, in addition to that, with our technology, uh, the physician, the neurosurgeon, can actually treat patients that are inoperable today in many cases. So we're going after glioblastoma patients, which is one of them, and the drug-resistant epilepsy patients today. And yeah, you say you're working with the uh, key opinion leaders here. What do you think especially is that attract them to, to your product? Two things. One thing is the, um, uh, the attractiveness of the um, short period of time it takes to treat a patient using this type of technology. The other aspect is the less side effects uh, that these systems uh, generate compared to open surgical procedures. And I think the third one is we can treat patients or the doctor can treat patients that otherwise are inoperable. I think those are the three main factors that attract them to this. And obviously then you have the business aspects of it as well. And you've chosen to do a, a limited launch, like you said, to begin with. How, how come? So in the neurosurgical market segment, we are uh, doing that. We're rolling it out right now in the U.S. Uh, uh, we're already installing training doctors in the U.S. in the neurosurgical field. We want to get feedback on this second generation system that we have developed specifically for the neurosurgical market. We are integrating uh, CLS technology with the technology of ClearPoint Neuro, which is a stereotactic system, basically an image-based system for high-precision positioning of the instruments in the brain. And this is the first time that is being done, that total integration. So we're doing an unlimited market release, getting feedback on that, and then we're stepping on the pedal once we know that it works. Okay. And then as a, uh, a final question, you are now focusing more on the U.S. market. What does that mean for your other target markets, the EU and, and Asia Pacific? So the goals that I just mentioned, we'll, we'll, we'll maintain those goals. And right now, we're currently looking into our, our planning 
in, in terms of operational planning, financial planning, and to see what does it mean for us to, with this new market release uh, in US, what does it mean to us in terms of what we need more in terms of people, uh, uh, money, and resources? Yes. Thank you so much, Don. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.